Hello, I'm Senator Mike Enzi. This week I received questions about my new role as a chairman of the Budget Committee, along with stories about how Obamacare is impacting Wyoming businesses and their employees. Let's take a look at a few of these. Uh, first, Obamacare forcing Wyoming employers to cut hours. Sarah from Riverton said, My son works two jobs. Both have mandated that he must not have over 30 hours. They made it clear that it's because they don't want to pay for his benefits. Tracy from Gillette said, I love how all non-business owners are experts on how we as small business owners make choices. Our staff members are like family to us, and we would love to be able to offer wonderful health care to all of them. Tammy from Cheyenne said, I won't hire anyone and need help. It's not worth hiring people now. That's what Obamacare has done. It uh, has made the choices so narrow and so expensive that small businesses could go out of business if they provided what they would like to provide, and many of them used to provide without all of the qualifications that are under the very few choices that a business can have under Obamacare. Uh, there are a lot of people out there now that are working two jobs because they don't have the 40 hours and at both businesses they need them for the 29 hours. So they're working 58 hours and they're not getting any overtime. That's one way that the employees are being hurt dramatically. But businesses aren't allowed to expand without seeing huge fines against them unless they provide exactly what the president wants. So many of them have canceled the kind of insurance they were able to provide their people before. Many of them were involved with health savings accounts, which is where people get to make their own decisions and they get money from their employee to do those decisions. Uh, those are gone now. So there's so many changes that have limited what businesses can do. And it's particularly if they go over that 50 mark. So I know of a number of businesses who said, I'd expand, I got a great location in the next town, but I already have 45 employees and I'm gonna be subject to huge fines if I expand. So there could be more jobs out there, but we've got to change that 30 hours back to 40 hours and hopefully eliminate the 50 requirement and allow people to be able to buy the kind of insurance that they want to buy and make sure that everybody can have insurance. As the new chairman of the Budget Committee, I got letters from Tammy Bonzel from Lusk who said, I so hope you will listen to us and get serious about the debt and the government overreach on so many other issues. Don from Cheyenne said, if Congress controls the purse, who else is to blame for the debt? Rochelle from Pine Haven said, since you're an accountant and now have the chairmanship, do you have leverage to get some serious cutting done? Aaron from Laramie said, looking forward to you putting politics aside and making some sound changes. I am hoping that we can make some bipartisan changes that will stop the overspending. Um, we actually spend three and nine-tenths trillion dollars. That's 3,900 billions. But out of that, we only get to make decisions on one and one-tenths trillion, which is 1,100 billion. So most of what money comes to the federal government, we don't get to make any decisions. Those are automatic checks that are written every month for a whole variety of things. But on the, one, the 1,100 billion dollars that we do get to spend, if we were to balance the budget, we need to eliminate half of that. Um, if we did that, there are a lot of services that would be ended for people. And uh, so what I'm trying to do is come up with a responsible budget that first of all will be done on time. April 15th is when we're supposed to have it finished. I want to have that resolved with the House and finished by April 15th. And the main reason is that once we set those parameters and get the enforcement processes of the budget in place, the people on the spending committees can go to work and see that the best projects are done and the duplication is ended and uh, that that could make a huge difference in in our spending it won't solve it all in the first year it'll take a while to do i'm still trying to sell my penny plan under the penny plan we just take one cent out of every dollar that the federal government spends now and according to the congressional budget office that would balance the budget in three years that's what we need to do because if interest rates go up Pretty quick, we won't be able to spend any money on anything except interest. And interest, as you know, buys us nothing. Remember, you can always leave me a comment on my Facebook and Twitter pages by calling my office or sending me an email. Just go to my website, www.nz.senate.gov. See you next time.